Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today what I'm going to be filming is a slightly different video which I thought would be quite helpful to a lot of people given the certain circumstances we are in at the moment. It seems that quite a lot of people are having to self-isolate um, um, or being encouraged to stay home. Um, you want to find stuff and you want to be able to do stuff in the comfort of your own home. So I thought I would come up with 25 different things that you can do while you're at home to keep you busy um, and motivated um, and not bored basically. So I've got my little list here. So we'll just work our way down. This is in no particular order. So the first one is create boards on Pinterest. Pinterest is one of my favourite apps and it has been for years and years and years. I love having loads of different um, boards um, with all different categories. I have them for makeup, fashion, home, lifestyle, everything. They're so good. They're also great for setting um, goals with yourself and having motivation. I have a board um, of motivational quotes which I love to go on in the mornings if I need some motivation. Um, it's really um, great app and I have loved it for so many years. Um, if you don't have it, you need to go and download Pinterest. Number two is go through your photos and clear out the photos on your phone. So I feel like this is a task which I don't do enough. I have so many old photos on my phone which I don't want, you know, that are blurry, like weird, me looking ugly as shit. Um, you know all that and they take up a lot of storage so go through the photos on your phone um, and on your laptop and clear them out so um, you make a little bit more storage for yourself and have a condensed down system number three is organize your phone apps now I have just done this so I will show you guys um, how my phone looks now I have gone and um, basically put all of the apps on the front screen into kind of a colour coordinated order as well as I could um, and then on the second screen we have four um, tabs and they are also done by colour coordination because I know the colour of all my apps and what apps I use I like how they look all in colour coordination so obviously you can put them into tabs by like categories but I like the colour coordination just because it's, you know, it's satisfying to my eye. Number four is change your wallpaper on your phone or make your wallpaper on your phone. So I like to do a kind of a vary of both. So I go onto Pinterest and usually type in aesthetic wallpaper designs um, and then we'll go through, pick the item or the image that I like. If there's more than one image that I like, what I will then do is take all of the images that I really like and crop them if I need to in my photos just edit the image down then take it over to Fonto. Fonto is honestly the best app if you want to make wallpapers or thumbnails um, anything like that. Um, go into Fonto and you can place all the images in the place that you want them. Number five is clean your room. You're going to be spending a lot of time in your room so you want it to be clean I always think tidy room, tidy mind, like if there's, you know, ridiculous amounts of stuff going on in my room and like it's not as tidy, I just can't, I've got too much stuff in my head, but once my room is nice and clean and tidy and bright, um, it makes me a lot more motivated um, and a lot more calm. Number six is read a book. Now don't just read any book, read a book that you're actually interested in and you want to read. You guys a few books which I have in my reading pile. So I have five books which I want to get through. The first one I have started it is Little Women. I watched this movie um, a few months back um, so I want to read the book. I then have this book which I'm halfway through. Um, so I need to go back and start rereading this because I haven't picked this up for quite a while but I was really into it again I just get too busy and I just forget to pick up a book this is Legendary by Stephanie Garber I have 
this book, Juniper Lemons Happiness Index. And I also started this book and never finished it, so I'm gonna have to go back and start reading it again. And then I have this series, which I'm not sure if there's any more in this series, but the first, this is by Nicola Yoon. I believe that's how you say it and the first one is the sun is also a star and then her second one onto that is everything everything so I've got these to read um, I'm gonna be pushing myself to read I want to try and have an hour of reading a day number seven is organize your drawers now your room might be tidy but are your drawers tidy inside I know mine aren't my bedside drawers my clothes drawers they get messy quite quickly and I just shut the drawer and don't think about it Make yourself open that drawer up and clean it because honestly you will realise and find so much stuff that you didn't realise you had. Number eight is a home workout. Probably not what you want to go, what you are wanting to hear, but you need to do it. I need to push myself to do it. My gym is shut. I think a lot of gyms have shut. So you can find great workouts on YouTube, just type them in. Yoga workouts you can find on YouTube, anything like that, just to get yourself moving. You still want to be exercising because obviously we don't know how long we're going to be stuck in the house. I always find that I'm so much happier once I've done a workout. I love the feeling after I've finished like a gym session. So you need to be doing it at home. Number nine is journaling. Now I love to journal. I have a wellness planner and basically in this wellness planner it has um, all the spread laid out for me week by week and there's also a section um, for all of the food that you eat and like the exercise so you can track everything anything like this is perfect you can get them online they're not too expensive um, and it really therapeutic and I love writing down pen to paper I'm quite old-fashioned in the fact I don't like writing notes on my phone or anything I like having a notepad and writing everything down pen to paper I just always have been like that Number 10 is join a TikTok and make TikToks. TikTok is honestly so addicting. I spend hours just scrolling through the For You page. I love making TikToks. If you want to follow me over there, I will put my name on the screen for you. Um, I really, really enjoy making them. Go over and join TikTok if you aren't already. Number 11 is make a mood board. I How I make my mood boards is through Fonto again. I like to take all the images from Pinterest or Google, I kind of, or even from my photo um, library, collect them all and then kind of you can add them through into Fonto. Number 12 is spend time with your pets. If you're somebody who is obsessed with your pets or have quite a lot of pets, and obviously they're in most of the time anyway, so they're probably gonna really enjoy the fact that they've got people home in the house all the time. So spend time with them and give them an attention, you know, they are the cutest things in the world. Number 13 is listen to podcasts. This is something in the last, I'd say, three months I have started doing a lot. I love listening to podcasts either if I'm working, um, if I'm at the gym, I like to listen to podcasts. Um, I'm going to put some on my screen at the moment, um, I will put some like photos of some of the podcasts that I listen to, but my favourites, I have kind of two favourites which stick out to me, which is The Girls Bathroom by Sophia and Chintia, pretty big deal, that's it, pretty big deal by Ashley Graham, but obviously on Spotify you've got hundreds of podcasts you can listen to. 14 is start a new Netflix series. Now, Netflix is just the best thing, let's be honest. You've got endless movies and series on there and there's something on there that you'll find um, interesting. I'm gonna start Sex and the City. I've decided that's the show I'm gonna start watching. But I will put on the screen now a list so you can pause this video of all of the series I would recommend if you've not start if you've not watched any of these series, definitely go over and watch them. They're really good um, and something I love. Number 15 is have a bath. Have a bath in have a pamper, you know, all that shebang. Give yourself time to relax, have a bit of me time, a bit of a self-care day. I usually shower because it's easier and I like to live on a fast pace, so quick in and out. But having a bath really relaxes you. Take your book in there, light a candle, um, and just have a bit of time to yourself. 16 is do a face mask. Face masks take up time. Again, it's along the same kind of 
thing is giving yourself a bit of a pamper um, but it also you're really helping your skin go a day where you don't wear any makeup do a face mask you know just let your skin breathe and your skin will thank you for it number 17 is do makeup that you wouldn't normally do makeup you wouldn't normally do you're not leaving the house you can experiment with makeup you can literally do whatever you want I obviously love doing the more out there kind of makeup practice makeup your day-to-day -day makeup if you think there's something you want to maybe you struggle with wing liner and you want to practice your wing liner do that maybe you want to change up your makeup for when you're gonna go out on nights out so practice your night out makeup so then when we're going out the house and we're living our lives <laughs> you can then you know show the new makeup that you've kind of picked up and skills number 18 is create a new spotify playlist now i normally never have the time to do this i find it so time consuming however i thank myself for it once i've done it i like to have different playlists for different moods so i like having a chart playlist you know a classic number 19 is online shopping now i love online shopping and i spend all my coin on online shopping but at the moment because I'm, I'm I've put myself on a spending cut I'm not buying any more makeup and I'm not buying any more clothes I've just told myself I'm not I'm not doing it what I like to do is I like to go online go on to some of your favorite um, websites I love pretty little thing nasty gal ASOS misguided they're kind of the main places that I shop I saw it first go on there sign yourself in if you haven't got an account create an account and then put things in your wish list then you can go back when you maybe have like 20 quid or something that you want to buy yourself something go through your wish lists and see if there's things in there that you still want number 20 wash your makeup brushes this is another thing I hate to do I hate washing my makeup brushes mainly because I have so many of them but you've got all the time in the world so give your makeup brushes a deep clean all I use is Johnson's baby shampoo number 21 is make your Starbucks order at home I'm obsessed with iced coffees and my order is quite bespoke I don't drink caffeine and I am lactose intolerant so obviously I have to have different alternatives to milk so I decided I wanted to make myself an iced coffee number 22 is draw or play a game I'm not a person who can you know be really artistic and draw um, so I have this art therapy book and there is like all different doodles and designs and stuff so I want to go through and draw and do some of these I find they're super um, like satisfying to do and um, obviously take up quite a lot of time number 23 is cook or bake um, you've got a kitchen I'm guessing most of you guys have a kitchen to go and figure out what you've got in your cupboards, try out a new recipe, you know, cook maybe your favourite dish, bake something that you haven't baked for a while that you really enjoy. Pinterest is a great place to look for new recipes. I have a recipe folder over on Pinterest of different things that I love to make. Um, and yeah, I think it's a really productive thing to do. Number 24 is go sit outside or go for a walk. You aren't completely confined into the block you know like the brick building of your house go out in your back garden go for a walk around your block you know go for a run um, it's another form of exercise and it's a great thing to do number 25 is facetime your friends you might not be able to see everybody at the moment because everybody's in isolation but group facetime is a must a lot of my friends have come home from uni but obviously i can't see them because we're all kind of separated and also facetime family members and so keep in touch with everybody make sure check in and make sure everybody is okay so i hope you guys have gotten a couple of ideas from this video um i really enjoyed making it we'll see how you know how everything goes and if i come up with some more ideas i could do a part two so i will see you guys in my next video whenever that is go ahead and hit that like button and let me know you like this video if you want to subscribe to my channel that would really be appreciated 